All right, we will call to order the Finance Committee meeting for Thursday, May 13th. We'll stand for the uh, prayer uh, given by Councilman Valentine. Heavenly Father, we uh, pause, Lord, and give you thanks, Father God, for your mercy and your grace. Lord, at this time of year, as we have uh, many graduates, Lord, that are celebrating their graduations, uh, may we ask uh, peace and, and, and guidance and wisdom on their part uh, as they celebrate uh, this uh, wonderful event. Uh, Lord, protect them, uh, especially those in our parish, Lord God, and uh, give comfort to those, Lord Father, and, and uh, many mothers and fathers that uh, worry at night over these children, Father. And we ask uh, your uh, blessings on them. Father, we ask blessings on this meeting tonight, Father. We ask uh, all these things in your Son's holy name. Amen. Amen. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call. We are uh, missing uh, Councilman Valentine. I'm sorry, Councilman Shake Snyder and um, Councilman uh, Kluot, who are at work, as well as Councilman uh, Adrian Thompson and Councilman Oliver Joseph, who are at a conference. Um, other than that, all present. Uh, chair's additions, I would like to uh, request that we add an item to the agenda for fire district number two, purchase of a fire truck. Under so moved, Chairman. Motion uh, second. by Councilman Valentine, second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Uh, I do need a roll call. Ms. Suzanne. Councilman Dale? Yes. Councilman Kluot? Yes. Councilman Shake Snyder? Yes. Councilman Shake Snyder? Yes. Okay, so moved, we will move to uh, item 10J. Okay, public comment period reminder, please sign in if you'd like to speak. And we will move on to item number five, uh, a Lamar Dixon contribution, Mr. Nikki Prejean. Would you like to come forward? Thank you, Councilman Lohr. Uh, I want to still commend St. Jude Parish Government and Council for making the step almost a year ago to purchase Lamar Dixon. Uh, a little bit of lack of communication, possibly. I did April of 2009. I was in drag racing in Houston, Texas. Called Parish President Martinez, and at that time, you all were attempting to raise funds to purchase Lamar Dixon. And it appeared that it was a million and a half short. Uh, I pledged 100% support and uh, didn't make a monetary offer at that point. Uh, I did later, but I want to feel like I did an awful lot to help secure the funding that you all, we all share in the acquisition. As chairman of the airport authority, I passed on two and a half million dollar grant to extend the runway, pushed it up into another year. Ascension Parish can only get so many federal dollars a year. I pushed off a hundred thousand dollar concrete parking lot from the airport from a state grant to allow Ascension Parish government to acquire additional state funding through a legislative delegation. So I have done a considerable amount of energy. I applaud you all for taking the risk and taking the chance of purchasing that facility that cost the biggest part of 58 million bucks for only seven and a half million dollars. I'm here tonight to extend my uh, gratitude, you might say. My commitment was $100,000 on, on this mic, uh, I want to say in August of last year sometime. Uh, I'm not 100% content with the way things are going, but it's probably going better than my expectations. And I'm sure with the unity with the parish government, like we've shared in the last year and a half, it's going to get better. Uh, I have no solution. I only hope that at some point in time it operates on its own revenue. I certainly think that it will operate on self-generated funds. And 
uh, I want to thank Councilman Dempsey Lambert for kind of coming to my defense a month ago. Uh, and, and Councilman Valentine, good friend of mine, good guy for whatever reason, uh, parish president was trying to salvage my name, but, and, and of course, Dempsey kind of came to my defense, but I am ready to present a $25,000 check to the Ascension Parish government for the expo, Lamar Dixon, uh, rather than coming up with the whole hundred. <laughs> I'd be real offended if you all took my hundred thousand dollars and hired an out-of-town consultant with an engineering firm and paid him a hundred thousand to tell you how to operate Lamar Dixon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my uh, my heart would handle that, but I promise you, twenty-five thousand next year and twenty-five the next two years following, I'm gonna stand by my commitment. I am still attempting to raise toward a million dollars to help raise. Uh, I can't compete with Chairman Council Pat Bell and, and uh, Paris President Tommy Martin has because they beat in the bushes too and, and they got a, a reasonable amount of support. Uh, it's probably some, some lean times in the next year or two, but hopefully you all stay together. I mean, still, I think this is the best council we've ever, ever had. And I voted for all eight of those amendments uh, a couple of weeks ago, I'm I'm so sad that they that they failed. I wish I'd have been more involved in the political process, but I just think once we've lived by this charter for 12, 13 years and appointed a very professional committee to to do what you all allowed, I thought they certainly made it available to the people. I mean, I couldn't second guess anything they did, and and it appeared to me every amendment that was on the ballot looked good for me, and good for the people, but. I was wrong, but um, I just uh, want to thank you, Chris, for the opportunity. And uh, you know, it's fun talking in front of people like this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I just that stand-up mirror. I didn't realize I was so fat. <laughs> uh, it's kind of embarrassing to look at yourself. I knew I'm old. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Bell. Uh, Nikki, I'd like to. Uh, Thank you for your efforts and for your contribution. And uh, sorry you said something about being fat. You see me squatted down back here. But uh, I, we've had many talks, and I know that you and I will be out in the area, and uh, there's plenty more leads out there that we're, we're coming up on. We will make our million dollars. I can't, I'm not putting a date on it or anything like that, but uh, I appreciate you for uh, being a good community uh, person. Thank you very much. I certainly echo that. And, uh, Mr. Prejean, we really appreciate the, obviously, the, the large contribution and the uh, commitment to following through. Thank you. Councilman Valentine. Oh, I'm not going to let Nikki get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Nick, Nikki and I are friends. But, uh, you know, point being is, and, and I, I want him to continue uh, to support Lamar Dixon because I know that is his heart and it has been for a long time. But uh, I'm more to make sure that the people of Ascension Parish and this council uh, at least got a fair shake on the commitment, and I, 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 I will also concede to you, Ricky. I thank uh, Nikki. I thank you for the donation. Look forward to getting the rest of it, and I appreciate uh, your honesty in coming here. Appreciate you very much. Thank you, Nikki. Mr. Parish President. First thing, Nikki, I also want to thank you, and uh, been an outstanding citizen, and always giving to the community in one way or the other. But. Uh, we're not going to hire a hundred thousand dollar engineer from out of the parish to come in here and tell us how to run a Lamar Dixon. I, I can assure you that uh, we're going to bring a, a seventy-five thousand dollar guy in. Uh, we're going to bring him in, and he's going to be a part of this community. He's going to move to this community. That was one of his commitments, and his family is uh, uh, most of his family lives here in the Baton Rouge area, and he wants to come back down. So uh, I think you'll be satisfied, uh, and I hope. We're all satisfied uh, when he comes that he's going to do a great job for us. And uh, I, too, think at some point we're going to be uh, self-sufficient, hopefully this year. Uh, I made a, a bet with a certain uh, newsman that uh, we'll be in the, in the black this year. So uh, we got a, a lunch bet. So uh, we're going we're gonna to work that out. But uh, I think we, only, as you'll see by the report and uh, by future reports, I think uh, we're on the right. We're going in the right direction. 
All right. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Mountain? Parish President, if he does, we have to buy you lunch. It can't be more than $25. Right. You understand? Know <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a newsman. We'll move on to item number six, uh, sales and use tax report for the month. Uh, Ms. Shelley Vilar. I'm sorry. We'll that would be me now. Mr. President. Well, as you see, uh, the sales tax are up uh, on uh, collections. Uh, each cent and half cent drainage sales tax up 11.47% uh, from last year. Uh, one cent sales tax is up 15.73% uh, from last year, and uh, the uh, half cent sales tax uh, is up 16.77%. Now, that's all good. We had a couple big purchases by industry uh, on some catalyst, and uh, you know that, but it still was encouraging that we were at least, uh, even without those sales, uh, able to. Uh, uh, be over last year's sales. Uh, I think the most encouraging thing that we see is that uh, for the first time in three years, uh, we've got uh, sales tax on motor vehicles were up. So uh, I think that's a, a good sign. Uh, although the consumer retail sales were down, uh, they resemble the decline seen in Gonzales and also surrounding areas. So hopefully we can we can continue uh, moving uh, forward and and. This continues. This trend continues, and, uh, and and I think it is. I think this was basically about the month uh, that we started going downhill last year, and uh, kind of reached rock bottom. And I think now you start seeing a realistic picture of what uh, our economy is going to look like. But if you look at the at the bars, uh, we 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 are ahead of uh, basically where we were in '07 and '08. Uh, so. That's all a, a, a good trend. Uh, those were those were good good uh, good years, and uh, 2010 is beginning to shape up. Hopefully, we can continue this trend, and I hope the national economy does the same thing. So it's good news, but I'm still uh, cautiously optimistic. Great. So basically, we are down less than one percent compared to where we were last year. Yes. Petrochemicals coming back strong, which has been killing us uh, over the last year. That's that's fantastic news. Maybe we turned a corner, hopefully. We're seeing some movement out there, and I, I think that's good, and I think uh, economic development uh, working hard, and we, we maybe hopefully we'll get some good news from them in the near future. Good. Uh, any other comments? Councilman Belta? Yeah. Uh, Parish President's right. We need to be a little cautious on this. Uh, and um, the petrochemical industry attended a meeting uh, yesterday, in fact, Lord's meeting in Baton Rouge with a lot of uh, influential uh, um, managers, plant managers, what have you. And what we're seeing in the industry is that most of the people have cut it to the bare bone, their inventories and everything, and now they're starting to replenish because they essentially run a little short. But business is on the uptick, and uh, hopefully it'll continue, and uh, the industry will remain strong because that is the basis of, mm -hmm. as you see, of uh, what supplies our, our uh, budget. Very good. Thanks for the update. Anyone else? Okay, we'll move on to item number seven, our revenue, revenue and expenditure report. You did fine. Ms. <laughs> <laughs> Vilar. Um, this is the financial report as of March 31st. The first page is uh, revenues. The operating budget is at 21.77% of the budget. Capital revenues are at 4.15% of the budget, and overall it's at 17.57%. Uh, the, the items highlighted in green are funds that are under the budget at this point of the year and on pages four and five are explanations for that. Page two uh, is expenditures. Operating expenditures are at 22.3 percent of the budget. Capital expenditures are at 12.09 percent and overall at 18.71 percent. 
the items highlighted in green are the funds that are over the budget at this point and explanations for that are on page six. Page three is a chart that compares operating and capital <coughs> projects, project, excuse me, project figures to the budget for both revenues and expenditures. And again, the fourth and fifth page explain the revenues. Page five explains expenditures. And the last page is a listing of disbursements done in the month of March that were over $100,000. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, guess not. Thank you. We'll move to item number eight, request for proposals. Uh, 8A is affordable rental housing. Uh, On April 26, 2010, the purchasing department received two proposals for affordable rental housing. The proposals were received from Perez and Comnet Incorporated. After review, the non-engineering Selection Committee recommend accepting Comnet Incorporated and Perez to each handle a different location of the project and to authorize the parish president to enter into an agreement for this service. Uh, Councilman Bell. Um, you need a motion before we discuss, or I'll, I'll make yeah. the motion. To okay, accept. motion by Councilman Bell. I'll second second for by discussion. Councilman Lambert. I'm maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but on the Perez total, I get 420. It says 347 on this paper. Martha is coming up. Carla did the addition. We'll quickly check it. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me get my shoes back on. on the back person. <laughs> Tell y'all we were pinch hitting tonight. Now take it easy on us. <laughs> and, and I don't think it's that. I just hey. I don't think it changes anything or whatever. Well, yes, it does. Well, you, you change your raking, yes. Change it doesn't matter if both are going to be. Both are going to be, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. But they are separate projects. We're checking. Thank you, ma'am. I don't either. I don't know what that is. Now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I promise you I won't say anything about it <laughs> later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd like a little explanation of you know what what are we buying, Parish President? I, you know, this is the first time I've seen this. This, this come was to uh, something that went on the consent agenda. Uh, I think it was last meeting to uh, apply for these. So it's just a grant funds. Yes, it's, okay. it's funding. Uh, the city of Downsonville couldn't apply for it, so the parish did, and now there's two sites they want to split the money. Uh, 50 50. I, I haven't attended any of those meetings. Okay. And a refresher was it a matching, the parish matching, or was it all no? It, it okay. shouldn't. Mark sh shaking her head back now. No, it shouldn't yeah. cost the parish okay. anything. Okay. Uh, and again, it, all we did so far was to put in an application. Correct. Okay. That doesn't mean that these sites you're competing for a small pot of money. Right. Uh, you may be granted, you may not be granted. They're going to look at each site and evaluate it and then uh, decide how much money. 
I don't think. I think there's about fifty million dollars in the entire okay. state. I remember now that you something like that. refresh, Mr. President. Both both sites were in uh, Donaldsonville. What is it? Were both sites in Donaldsonville? Yes. Okay. I had a motion and a second. Uh, discussion, Councilman Johnson. Uh, just a clarification. We said we have two sites. We're given one to each of these. Is what we're requested to do, or is one to and about? I one think one they're one. requesting about four million dollars. I'm not. Don't hold me to the exact dollar. And then basically, uh, there's two sites that they're looking at. Uh, you know, they may give all the money to one site or the other, pick one over the other, and. and that's the way the application will go from there. Is that correct, Martha? Okay. Pretty much. Right. Next. Mm. I got them right. I got them. For four million dollars, it is a um, competitive. There's no guarantees for for any of, either one of them, but they are two sites that will be. They're actually competing against each other. It's all in, I mean, there's, okay. from what I understand, there was a tremendous amount of <coughs> application. And, and neither one, neither one may uh, get anything, Todd. I mean, like yeah. I said, it's yeah. competitive. You're right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. We will move on to item 8B, a tractor and mower lease. On April 14th. 2010, the Purchasing Department received three proposals for tractor mower lease. The proposals were received from Sunshine Equipment, Louisiana Machinery, and Crawler Supply. After review, the Non-Engineering Selection Committee recommend accepting Sunshine Equipment proposal to provide tractor mower leasing and to authorize the parish president to enter into an agreement for this service. Thank you, Chairman. Second. By Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Second by Councilman uh, Todd Lambert. Okay. And uh, any discussion? Did Mr. Bell add them up? Sure. <laughs> Are these added up? Right? <laughs> 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 okay. Any other discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. And we'll move to item 8C vehicle fleet lease. On April 13, 2010, the Purchasing Department received three proposals for vehicle fleet leasing. The proposals were received from Lamar Key, Ford Incorporated, Enterprise Fleet Management, and Merchants Leasing. After review, the Non-Engineering non Selection Committee recommend accepting Enterprise Fleet Management proposal to provide vehicle leasing and to authorize the parish president to enter into an agreement for this service. Need a motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Todd Second. Lambert. Second by Councilman Cullen. Discussion? Any objection? One, one quick. Oh. Councilman Lambert? Ms. John, we didn't have any local people bid in on? No local. The Enterprise Office locally participated, but <coughs> it came from the, the management okay. group. None of the local uh, no dealerships. Okay. That's all. Okay. Anyone else? Motion passes. We'll move to item 9A, request for statement of qualification for administrative consulting services, um, the parish section 8 housing voucher program. Um, is this On Martha? Or, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> On May 10, 2010, the purchasing department received one proposal for administrative <laughs> consulting service section 8 and disaster housing assistant program the proposal was received from roberto mosedo and associates after review the non-engineering selection committee recommend accepting roberto mosedo and associates and to authorize the parish president to enter into an agreement for this service motion motion by councilman johnson I'll second. Second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Item 10, our bid items. Ms. Jones? On May 10, 2010, the Purchasing Department received one bid for all steel railroad bridge deck flat cars. 
The bid was received from Diversified Rail Car. After review, the Purchasing Department and East Ascension Drainage Department recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from Diversified Rail Car. Motion by Councilman uh, Dempsey Lambert, second by Councilman Bay Johnson. Discussion? Objection? Motion passes. On April 20th, 2010, the Purchasing Department received two bids for a batonymous mixture for hot application. The bids were received from Coastal Bridge Company and Louisiana Asphalt Producers. After re review, the Purchasing Department and Department of Public Works recommend accepting the lowest re responsive bid from Coastal Bridge Company. Motion. Second. Motion by Councilman Bell, second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. On April 14, 2010, the Purchasing Department received six bids for corrugated polyethylene pipe and fitting. The bids were received from F&G Services, HD Supply, Performance Plastic, Sorrental Lumber Company, Coburn Supply, and Coastal Culvert and Supply. After review, the Purchasing Department and East Ascension Drainage Department uh, recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from F&G Services. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by uh, Councilman Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Councilman Johnson. This, uh, Ms. Joan, these, or, or Mr. President, these are uh, the pipes, what, what, were they just for various projects? That's correct. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. On April 20, 2010, the Purchasing Department received five bids for galvanized and asphalt coated corrugated metal pipe. The bids were received from Coastal Culvert, Sorrento Lumber Company, Coburn Supply, Water and Sewer, and H&D Water Works. After review, the Purchasing Department and Department of Public Work recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from HD Water Works. Motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Cullen. Second. Second by Councilman Johnson. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. On April 14, 2010, the Purchasing Department received five bids for mosquito control chemicals. After review, the Purchasing Department and Mosquito Control recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from all Pro Vector Group, Biomist 30 plus 30, Clark Mosquito Control, Anvil 10 plus 10, Vectilex, WDG, Clear Mineral Oil, Duet or Equivalent. Clark Mosquito Control, B&G Chemicals, Bonide or Equivalent, Adapco, Scourge, Permanone, Multipurpose, 10EC, Flit 10EC, Vectilex CG, Golden Bear 111, Antique MMF, Altazoid Brisket or Equivalent, and Univore USA Control 30 Plus 30, Wisdom TC Flowable or Equivalent. That was a rough one. A rough one. <laughs> <laughs> Motion. Motion by Councilman Bell. Second. Second by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Any discussion? Any objection? <laughs> Motion passes. On May 10, 2010, the Purchasing Department received one bid for the right to act as official journal for Ascension Parish government. The bid was received from the Gonzales Weekly Citizen. After review, the Purchasing Department re recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from the Gonzales Weekly Citizen and per title Louisiana Revised Statute 43.141 that this bid be approved at the first meeting in June of 2010. Motion. Motion by Councilman Bell. Second, Second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Discussion? Rejection? <clears throat> Motion passes. We will move on to 10G. 
On April 20, 2010, the purchasing department received six bids for polyvinyl chloride sewer drainage pipe. The bids were received from Coastal Culvert, HD Waterwork, Coburn Supply, Water and Sewer, F&G Services, and Sorrento Lumber Company. After review, the Purchasing Department and Department of Public Works recommend accepting the lowest run responsive bid from HD Waterworks. Motion by Councilman Johnson. Second. second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Discussion? Objection? Motion passes. On April 20, 2010, the Purchasing Department received six bids for pump sand. The bids were received from Bear Industries, Mears Sand and Gravel, Coastal Bridge, Thaddeus Valerie Trucking, Dennis Stewart Rental, and Renee Trucking. After review, the Purchasing Department and Department of Public Works recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from Mears Sand and Gravel. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second by Councilman Cullen. Discussion? Objection? Motion passes. On May 10th, the Purchasing Department received one bid for reinforced concrete pipe. The bid was received from Capital Concrete Products Incorporated. After review, the Purchasing Department and Department of Public Works recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from Capital Concrete Products Incorporated. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Councilman Bell. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Thank you. All right, thank you, Joan. We'll move to our added agenda item, which is a uh, fire truck purchase for <coughs> fire truck number two. Chuck, Ontario. Good evening, gentlemen. I would uh, ask that you approve the purchase of a new fire truck for fire district number two. It will replace our last 1978 uh, Ford that is uh, actually in service in the Modest area. The cost of the new truck would be $168,585 under state contract, Lamaze uh, per, uh, contract from uh, Ferrara. We do have the money allocated. It was allocated in our budget. It's, it's there. I'm just asking for y'all to so approve moved, the Mr. purchase. Motion by Councilman Todd Lambert, second by Councilman John. Any discussion? Any objection? <coughs> Motion passes. Thank you, General. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to our uh, monthly report section. Lamar Dixon report, Ms. Carla Bourgeois. If you look at the uh, revenue sheet that's in your packets on the far right hand side under total actual plus encumbrances as of March 31st, you see we had total revenue of $545,000, $3.46. Expenditures of 466, 736, 27. For an operating surplus of 78,000, 267, 19. And a projected end in fu uh, fund balance of 171, 230, 67. In that time frame, we had 31 events at the facility. Uh, total event days that they were operating and the events were rolling were 47 days and 33 days additional to that for setup and, and tear down. It's been a real, real, uh, Good time, Ella Moore Dixon. Thanks for picking up. And already in April, we've in April we had 18 events. So things are looking good. Any questions? Just a general question because I saw the signs all over the parish and uh, Baton Rouge and and everywhere it seems for that that fair they just had. And I wasn't yes. able to make it out. I was just curious how that did. It didn't do as well as, as he expected it to. Um, the first weekend he got there, of course, we had bad weather all right. weekend. Kids were still in school, so the weekly turnout was not. You know, not good. I will compliment that fair, though. It was so well run, organized, clean. The people that I talked to that did go, and, and myself, really enjoyed it. He had a 30 rides. He had an open midway games. It's, it's really good. He is coming back next year. Cool. Very good. <clears throat> and Chris, I, I think on uh, the Saturday, I think it had like 700 cars, so we $5 a car. That was a pretty good hit, too. Good. Right. Okay. Uh, any questions? Okay. Thank you, Carla. We'll move to our contract support, Mr. President. Uh, 
I just want to uh, take this opportunity to, to thank Carla for the job she's done and, uh, when the new you. guy comes in. Uh, she's going to go through the transition with him for a couple weeks, but uh, we, we threw this upon her, and she did an excellent job. Uh, I'm proud of the job that she's done and uh, picked it up, and, you know, and we, we, we – uh, if the other guy can operate with a surplus like she did, we'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carla. I appreciate your service. Uh, Mr. M Mr. Martin, is the um, Mr. Vote, is his name correct? Yeah. When does when does his start date? He's going to come uh, the 24th of this month is his projected start date, May 24th. Okay. So uh, we're looking forward to it, and I think Carla is also. So. All right, great. Next uh, up on the agenda, we have our contracts report for – Monthly review for the council. Any uh, questions upon review? I guess we'll give everybody a minute to look over this. I'm always going to say. Kim Freelu is going to give that report if you okay. need to mm -hmm. ask any questions. Yeah, it, it's just here in front of you. It's our contracts that were executed in the month of April. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to do my best to answer them. Oh, Mr. President, I do. Uh, you mentioned, I think, the last time at the council meeting. I see this one about the uh, the Census Bureau. We were the top performing parish as far in the capital area region for we census. We were top in the capital area, six in the state. When do you have a um, what's what's the next the step? You said well, they're going door to door out. at this point. Okay. Uh, the people that they uh, couldn't get, or the people had post office boxes, they're gonna with addresses, they're gonna go uh, to count them. When did they, they close? When did they close out? I don't know. Scott's not here tonight. He had a graduation with his. Uh, Kindergarten child. So. Okay. Just curious. Uh, anyone else? Okay. We will move on to uh, item 13, our Ascension Economic Development Report for the month. Just talk. <coughs> Kristen and Mike. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. I'll turn it over here for a second to, uh, to Kristen with a couple of items. We hosted our Business Incentive Seminar last week and had approximately 40 participants there who really went away with a knowledge of how um, most of the incentive programs worked, uh, how, how they run, and, <clears throat> and um, what they were eligible for, too. And we're looking forward to offering this program for Ascension Parish businesses in the, in the future, and we'd like to thank the Parish President and the Council for co-sponsoring this event with us at Lamar Dixon. Also, a few months ago, we spoke about um, changes to some of those programs, the Quality Jobs Incentive Program, the Enterprise Zone, and Industrial Tax ex Exemption, and that we would keep the committee up to date. However, the state hasn't finalized those rules yet or hasn't released the summary of the changes. So as soon as we get that, uh, we'll give a report to that as well. Thank you, Kristen. Uh, you have in your package, I think, our project chart, our monthly project chart, where we have our uh, uh, numbers for uh, uh, for the end of uh, or through May 13th. Uh, you see, there's 20 projects in all that we're tracking and working with, uh, representing over $700 million in potential investment and more than 2,000 jobs. Most important of those are the ones that we label in the A category, which means that. Uh, we expect those those projects to make a decision. Uh, in other words, they've been funded, et cetera. Hopefully, a decision in the favor of of Finchin Parish. But uh, at least they'll be making a decision. And uh, I'm very confident we're, we are going to have some good news for uh, for you in the in the near future. Um, one item uh, to bring to your attention is I found out uh, very recently that one of our existing companies, uh, which at this stage has to remain anonymous, has made preliminary application with the Louisiana Public Finance Authority for more than $200 million in go-zone bonds. Now, I've been told that not all of that money would be spent in Ascension. They've got facilities in a couple of other places in the state uh, that uh, 
would be receiving some of that money, but the majority of that will be in Ascension Parish. So that's good news. We'll be able to uh, talk publicly about that more, hopefully, in the next few days. But just as I do not have any figures for you on new jobs that might be associated with that, but we will keep you informed about that. Um, I'm also very pleased to report that, uh, as a, uh, we've talked about in the past, uh, the our participation in the certified sites program at Louisiana Economic Development, which is a new program. And just today, we put in the mail a package for uh, applying for certification for the Donaldsonville Industrial Park. And they, there's a re review process that we'll go through with them, hopefully resulting in their approval of the park as a certified economic development site in the state of Louisiana, which will be one of the first ones, if not the first one, on uh, that's uh, under their new program. Uh, uh, lastly, uh, and most importantly too, I had a, a visit with BASF uh, last week or a week before last, and I'm pleased to report to you that their expansion that they announced last year is underway. And uh, y'all may recall that number uh, that was uh, given was 75 to 80 million dollars. Not all of that's hard costs, so you won't see all of that in sales tax revenue, but certainly a substantial portion of it will be taxable. And so you ought to see those numbers go up in, uh, in the near future, Mr. President. And that concludes, that concludes our report, unless the committee has questions. Mike, I uh, appreciate the, the tidbit on the, uh, the company that's applying for the goes on bonds and everything. You said we should know in the next few days. Are you, are you going to do a press release or kind of email everybody? When, as soon as you get some details? Yes, well, there will be some coming uh, okay. from that. Do you feel fairly confident? Sorry? You feel fairly confident about uh, that moving forward? Yes. Okay. Mm. Can I ask you also about, uh, since it's labeled A, um, project codename index is a $50 million investment with uh, 35 jobs. As far as um, potential there or, or like for a timeline, do you have any idea? Well, the, on I think the potential on that one is at least 50-50. We're in competition with a location in Alabama, uh, so it's down to two sites. Okay. And uh, that, that particular project is a co-location with one of our existing firms. And uh, you know, I'd like to think that gives us an advantage over, over the other location, which is a Greenfield site mm -hmm. uh, from a cost and operating cost viewpoint, but uh, you never know. <laughs> Great. Uh, Councilman Labor? Yeah, Mr. Mike, uh, I don't know what goes on bonds. Is there a deadline when they end? It was a, a certain amount yes, of years, sir. The, correct? Yes, sir. The goes on bonds are expiring, uh, scheduled to expire on 31st of December. Of this and year. that means they have to be issued by then. Right. Uh, and so uh, the deadline is quickly approaching quickly, as yeah. far as filing for them and getting in line. I th uh, was it you know, a three it takes, year? I think it was a three year sir, deal. I'm sorry. Like I think it was a three year deal. Uh, I can't recall yeah. uh, what that was. They extended it some. There, okay. there is some conversation going on about possible extension of that deadline, but okay. uh, nothing firm on it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any, uh, anyone else? Okay. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. All right, uh, agenda item 14, we're in our funding request section now, uh, the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank. I have uh, Ms. Charlene Montalero. Come up here and give us an overview. Thank you very much for having me here today. I am here on behalf of Michael Manning, who is our president and CEO. I am vice president of development, and I come here to you today with a request for funding. Um, for your citizens in your own parish. First, let me say thank you to everybody in here because you have been partners with the food bank, both on the parish level, personally, businesses. We, you know, we at the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank cannot, our mission is very simple. We feed the hungry where they are, whether that's um, the elderly who have to choose between their making um, their rent, their, their medicines and buying food. It may be the working poor, people who have enough for three weeks out of the month, but not that fourth week. It may be people, right now we're seeing a ton of people who have lost jobs, so they're for the first time needing our help. Or it could be kids. Right now we're really focused on kids because, as you know, school is ending. Those children don't receive their free and reduced lunch and breakfast when they're not in school. That's their main source of nutrition. 
So we really have a, a huge increase during the summertime. So on behalf of Mike and of all the people we serve, I appreciate you considering this request. Motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Councilman Bell. Second. Second by Councilman Cullen. Mr. Martinez. Let me point out also, uh, in 2009, the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank distributed uh, 379,579 pounds of food valued at uh, almost 600,000 in Ascension Parish. Uh, you know, I think a lot of times people come and request money, but I think $1,000 here is well spent, let me just say. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Any objection? Uh, we will pass on item number 15, as I don't believe uh, Ms. Sharon Morris is here. And we also pass on item number 16, as uh, neither Councilman Joseph or uh, Garney Gutro is here. So we will move on to item 17, uh, 2009 to 2011 Juvenile uh, Accountability Block Grant Program. It's Martha Grant. Uh, Martha. Martha Thank Grant. you. That's all right. Yeah. I answered anything. I think I uh, always mangle your name for the. I'm, I'm that's really, all right. Sorry. That's all right. Um, each year we partner. Uh, the DA's office requests for us to partner with their uh, office on this grant. It's a shared cost, of which we are requesting tonight. It's not a budgeted item, so therefore we'd like to. As for these funds, the Ascension share is $740.67. Assumption share is $370.33. I make that motion. Huh? Motion Chairman. by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Councilman uh, Dennis Cullen. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Thank you. Motion adjourned. Motion adjourned. Councilman Todd Lambert. Second by Councilman Bell. So we're adjourned.